Have you ever wondered how planets get their names? Is it the discoverers who named them? Are they named after discoverers? If yes then why and if no then what are they named after? Who names them? If you have also been wondering about this, you need to watch this video. Let's get started. The International Astronomical Union IAU, established in 1919, governs the official names of all planets and their moons. The IAU is the internationally recognized authority for assigning names to celestial bodies. The IAU recognizes that astronomy is an old science, and many of its names come from long-standing traditions and are founded in history. The IAU has therefore adopted this tradition in its rules, for naming certain types of objects in the solar system. You will be surprised to know that except for our Earth, all other planets are named after Greek or Roman mythological characters. This is their tradition to name them in this manner and they still stick to it. Let us first know why they are called planets. The word planet originally comes from the Greek word for wanderer. These objects, earlier mistaken for stars, are wanderers who wander around the sun. Mercury was the Roman messenger of ancient gods, who traveled very fast. Mercury the planet completes a trip round the sun in just 88 Earth days, and hence was named after the deity, Mercury. Venus, which is the second brightest object in the night sky, was named after Venus, the Roman goddess of love and beauty. This planet is the only one named after a female and is aptly named because of its eternal beauty and shine that also makes it visible in the sky. Our Earth has an exceptional case, since it was not named after any Greek or Roman god. This name derives from Old English and Germanic words meaning ground. However, there are other names for the planet as well in many different languages. Pretty fitting, right? Coming to Mars, in Roman mythology, Mars was the god of war. Since the planet Mars is red in color, its association with the god of war suggests bloodshed. This planet was called by different names in different languages, but due to the global influence of Europeans, the name Mars became common around the world. The largest planet, Jupiter, was named after the Roman god Jupiter, who was the king of gods. This name suited aptly for the planet because its large size dominated other planets and hence is the king of planets in terms of size. The second largest planet, Saturn, was named after the Roman god of agriculture and wealth. Saturn was one of the five brightest planets ancient people knew of. The Roman god Saturn was the god of time and this was also associated with the planet's extraordinary slow movement around the sun. Saturn was also the father of Jupiter. Uranus's name is a reference to the Greek god of the sky, Uranus, who was the grandfather of Jupiter and father of Saturn. These planets have line by line been named after their fathers and grandfathers. Saturn is the only planet whose English name is derived directly from a Greek mythological figure. Neptune was the Roman god of the sea. This planet was named by its discoverer, Laveria. This naming faced many controversies, since its discoverer tried to name the planet after himself after some time, but the name Neptune was favored, and soon it became the internationally accepted name. Neptune's association with the god of sea was also because of the bright blue color of the planet. Other categories of planets, like the dwarf planets also were named in the same pattern. Pluto, the now dwarf planet was named after the Roman god of the underworld. This name was suggested by an 11-year-old schoolgirl, Venetia Burney. It was then forwarded to the IAU by her grandfather who was closely associated with the organization. This name perfectly fits because it is so far away that it is in complete darkness and is not visible to the naked eye. That was all about how planets get their names. Do like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel, Explified.